All right, guys, Papa Pepper here once again, and um, I just want to tell a story and share the moral of the story here, because in hindsight, we know a lot of things, um, and if we kind of look to the past, we can apply what we learn in the future so that we don't uh, kind of make the same mistakes or make the same mistakes of others. I don't mind learning the hard way as long as we're learning, but if we can learn from the mistakes of others, I think that is exponentially uh, more beneficial than having to suffer through things ourselves. So as I kind of point to sometimes, just over a year ago, steam was less than a dime. Okay, A lot of people got discouraged and a lot of people left. But you got to remember, in times of lower value, a lot more is given out you know, per pay post payout. Um, if you had a $7 payout in those days, uh, you know, you would have gotten a lot more steam than if you got a $7 payout now. If you got a $7 payout now, after the curators took their cut, and you had a 50-50, a you know, payout, you'd get less than one steam. That's, that's not very much at all. You know, whereas if steam was, you know, a dime, you'd have piles of it. So the thing is, is that when the value of something decreases, why do people say buy low, sell high? Because it's much better to get it when it is lower in value. Um, think about that for a moment. If you were buying it, you wouldn't want to buy it high. Therefore, the time to get excited about doing things is not when it is high. Um, many people left during times of lower value for Steam. They left and they went elsewhere. Then all of a sudden the price starts going up. All those people who earned a tiny bit down here as the price goes up, their value of all that low stuff increases exponentially. Um, all that steam that people earned for less than 10 cents just over a year ago, at steam right in about 7 bucks right now, that's worth 700 times more. Okay, If you would have made a dollar back then, that would be worth $700 now. Think about that. That's, that's crazy. Um, because it's seven times more in value, or 700 times more in value. So then what happens is all the people who left when the value was low, you know, they didn't want to buy low or earn low, so the value starts going up, and then they jump in. Well, it's much harder to get now. It's much harder to get at those times. And then also, same thing with the SBD. Nobody would have really predicted that Steamback dollars were going to hit, I think they hit about 16, 17 bucks before. They're still riding at about nine right now. Nobody would have predicted that. It happened. It's the reality we're living in. Um, but it just kind of shows, too, that if you take advantage of situations, if you kind of secure what you can while you can, and if you wait. I know people that literally would have about half a million dollars worth of steam right now. Or they could convert that into USD and have about half a million dollars. But they sold it. For like 10 cents and 15 cents. They gave up. They quit. I mean, if somebody needs pennies, I'd recommend, you know, digging in the couch. <laughs> don't sell your crypto if you need pennies. Just just don't. Learn from that lesson. So what can we learn moving forward? You know, same thing with uh, when people had a bunch of cheap Bitcoin and uh, a lot of people parted with it. Now, I, I give credit to those, like... Uh, Sir Smoke Too Much, Laszlo, those other ones, those those crypto pioneers who would take something like 10,000 Bitcoin and sell it for 50 bucks. Why? Because if it had never been proven to be worth anything, it would still be worth nothing. Anything times zero is nothing. Therefore, it has to have some value in order for the value to increase. And they, they proved back in the day that it was worth something. Now it's worth exponentially more. We understand that. Um, it hit 20K last year. You know, it's still riding about, what, fourteen, fifteen thousand dollars uh, $15,000 each right now. That's incredible. But again, why is it worth something right now? Because it was proven that it was worth something before. So therefore, the value could go up. So I'm not slamming people for, for being the pioneers in, in cryptocurrency. But what I am saying is that now what do we know? Now we know that we can diversify our assets. We can take whatever we make in Steam and SPD. We can transfer it into any other crypto that's on the market. That's a good thing. Find some other ones, buy low, and just hold. Just hold. Um, 
Also, we say, oh, well, we missed our chance, you know, we'll never earn 10 cents steam again. It's a lot harder. I'm not going to be able to buy and power up now. You know, what would you do? You'd spend uh, 100 bucks, and what would you get? You know, just a couple more in steam power. You say, I missed my chance, right? Well, not necessarily. Because what is the future? Is there a time in the future when we look and we say, wow, remember when Steam was only $7? I wish I would have been blogging then. I wish I would have been posting then. I wish I would have been commenting and curating then. I wish I would have been encouraging the community more and investing myself more back then because now it's worth way more. That's a potential. Now, there's a lot of Steam out there. And there's a lot more to come, but as time goes on, it seems to be getting more difficult to get your hands on a significant amount. Therefore, maybe now will be some of the good old days for later. Think about that. Um, and then also, like I often say, you know, if you give up, you will never succeed. You'll never succeed if you give up. If you don't give up, then you have the possibility to at least succeed. You haven't removed that possibility, which is great. Um, here, just like many other places, there is no guarantee. But what there is, is there's the opportunity. Okay, there's no promise, but there's the potential. So I don't know what you guys are trying to accomplish in your life. I know what I'm trying to accomplish in my life. I don't know what your goals are. I don't know how realistic your goals are. It doesn't often matter how realistic your goals are. Back in, you know, 2008, 2010, people would say, oh, Bitcoin's good worth $20,000. Unrealistic? I think so at that time. But now we've seen it proven in reality. So anyway, stick to it. Keep your head up. Learn from the lessons, guys. Learn from the lessons. If things get really bad, that could be really good. Because if they get better later, you're going to be really happy as stuck with things. So feel free to ride the waves. If it's going up, be happy. If it's going down, be happy. Take advantage of it. That's an opportunity. So just trying to share a little bit of wisdom with you guys. I hope this helps. I hope this puts some things in perspective for you. Because as I've said before too, I used to feel like quitting about every two or three days. I used to feel like, you know what, I'm just going to I'm just gonna go. I'm just not going to deal with any of this anymore. And guys, it wasn't all financial. I pointed that out before too. You know, sometimes just interacting with certain people, certain things going on, it gets frustrating. It gets discouraging. You feel like quitting. Am I glad I didn't? Well, obviously I'm glad I didn't. But also in the midst of that, I try to encourage a lot of others too, and I don't try to have any, um, I'm not just trying to pump things up or hype things up. What I try to do is provide sound examples of reality. You know, if you quit, you will not succeed. If you would like the potential to succeed, don't quit. That's simple. Um, it's true. It's not misleading. So, all right, guys, hopefully this helped. It's going to be a great year. We'll see what happens. And like I said, whether things continue or not, you know where I'm going to be and what I'm going to be doing. All right, pop out.